Everyone please standing now. We're doing two rounds of Surya Namaskaram. You can come uh, off your mats. And first round we'll be doing uh, very slow and very gently, not really working the stretches yet. So position one, have the feet together and feel the weight evenly distributed throughout the foot. Feel the energy coming up through the legs, lifting up the trunk and placing the palms in front of the chest. Have a few breaths. Tune into your energy, see how you're feeling today. And feel this Hatha class as an offering to your spirit. Locking the thumbs, stretching forward and up. Feel the extension in the spine. And this is the gentle turning up. Don't really work the backward stretch this, this time. And then hinging from the hips. Again, work the extension. Wait at the halfway point. This is another pose. Ardha Uttanasana. Work that stretch in both directions. Pull the pelvis back. And then exhaling, coming down. And this also just uses a passive stretch. You can uh, take gla- cra- clasp the, the uh, elbows and just let the body Relax with the breath. And then palms on the floor, left leg back. Settle into this stretch for a moment. And then we're not going to work it. We're just going to gently do uh, the monkey pose. So begin to lift the trunk up. Let the arms still hang down and feel the the weight of the pelvis sinking down, distributed between the two legs. And now you can lift the arms, but don't arch back yet. Just get to feel the, the lifting and the sinking at once. That's it, Surya. And then just turning the trunk up, just a very gentle arch. Okay. And then bring, bringing the trunk forward, palms to the floor, and back into the angle position. First, you can have the, your arms a little bit slack and the knees a little bit slack and have the heels up. And then begin to feel the energy moving from, from the hands through the arms, straightening the elbows. Lift the pelvis up and back and begin to really work the stretch to the spine. And then press the heels down. Good. Knees, chest, and chin to the floor. Feel the arch at the base of the spine. And pelvis down, rolling back. Back into the angle position. Again, work this gradually and eventually fully. So the spine getting a good stretch here. That's good, Santoshi. Left leg forward. First, settle into that stretch. And then lifting the trunk up. The arms can still be at the side. And then arms raised. And then don't work the stretch, but just gently arch back a little bit. That's it. And then trunk forward, palms on the floor. Left leg forward. Relax into this stretch for a moment again with the breath. And then extending forward, work that halfway point for a moment, Ardha Uttanasana, that's it. And then lifting with the inhalation, get the lift. And this time you can work the backward stretch a little bit more, still not too dramatically. And then standing erect, palms at the chest, and relax for a moment. Okay, feet together, palms together at the chest. Two, inhale, stretching forward, up. This time you can work the stretch a little bit more. Press the pelvis forward, bring the chest back. And three, extending forward, 
just you can uh, work the stretch on your way down. Just a pause, and then coming down. This time, uh, you can either have your palms uh, on the floor, or you can interlock your fingers around your big toes and draw the trunk a little further down. And then palms on the floor, left leg back. Raising the trunk up, lifting the arms up. And now you can begin to tilt the pelvis back, draw the chest back. That's it, work the monkey. And now uh, keep this arch, but lower the arms to the side again. And, and then see if you can take hold of the back leg, anywhere along the back leg, and pull yourself back a little further. So you can take hold of your thigh, uh, that's it, a little higher up the leg, and pull yourself back there. There it is. That's it. And then uh, coming forward again, trunk coming forward, palms to the floor, into the angle position. We'll do the dip. So uh, hold the angle for a moment, work it, and then squatting back, thrusting forward, hold that for a moment, and then raising up. Yeah, I mean, uh, now raise up and back into the angle position. Sorry if it wasn't clear about that. Okay. And then left leg forward, trunk coming up into the monkey, raising the arms up. First work the uh, erect position, and then begin to work the backward stretch. And then you can keep this arch, lower the arms, and see if you can take hold of the leg somewhere. Yeah, you can take hold here. There it is. And then. Uh, coming forward and left leg forward. Again, you can either take uh, palms on the floor, take hold of the big toe, draw the trunk, use the breath with this and uh, begin to work the stretch a little bit. And then on the next inhalation, begin to extend out with a flat back, pause at the halfway point, and then continue up. And now you can work the, the backward bend as far as you'd like, pressing the pelvis forward, getting a good stretch between the pelvis and the ribs, and then coming forward. And arms to the side, feet apart. Okay. We'll be doing a, a standing stretch now. So uh, let's all face this direction and have your right foot uh, take a, a fairly good step forward with your right foot and feel that your hips are facing directly forward. And check out your, your balance. See, uh, adjust your feet to feel you have a secure base on the floor and the balance feels solid. Now, uh, you can uh, either have the, do a prayer position behind the back like this, if you have the wrist flexibility, and this is also good for uh, carpal tunnel syndrome, or you can take hold of the elbows or take hold of the wrists, or if you're tight, you can even just let your arms be by the side. So take, find the hand position that works for you. And then make sure you feel solid on the floor. Begin to uh, lean back, feel you're creating space around the hips and then begin to bring the chest up, the head can come back a bit, and keep the space in the hips and the openness in the chest as you begin to hinge from the hips forward, coming down over the front leg. Wait at the halfway point for a moment, and uh, with the breath, extend the spine further, and then exhaling, lowering down. As you come down over the leg, feel you're drawing the thigh muscle up toward the waist, and then just relax down. Breathe comfortably. And then uh, come up to the halfway point. Work the extension for a moment. And then lock the, uh, interlock the fingers behind the back. Bring the arms overhead, rotating the shoulders forward. And then again, come down over the leg. This is a variation of this. 
Parsvatanasana. That's it. See if you can straighten the front knee. And now, if you're steady and comfortable in this position, then you can begin to bend the front leg, draw the back leg back a bit, and see if you can draw the face toward the feet. That's it. Worship your own self. That's it. And then extend, uh, straightening the front leg, bringing the trunk up, and bringing the facing uh, forward in this, uh, this direction, and then shifting so that uh, you take a step out with the left foot, feet together, take a step out with the left foot, that's it. Do the hand position that works for you. Feel the secure base. Creating space above the hips, opening the chest, let the head roll back a little bit, and then keeping the space and openness, begin to hinge forward with a flat back. You can work it, stretch a little bit at the halfway point, and then exhale. Drawing the thigh up, lowering down. The breath is relaxed and relaxing. And now raise the trunk up to the uh, point where the spine is erect. Interlock the fingers behind the back. Draw the shoulders overhead and exhaling, come down again. Bending the front knee, drawing the back foot, foot back, begin to bring the face toward the feet. That's it. Let the arms just relax overhead. Open the shoulders. That's good, Anandi. And then straightening the front leg, lifting the trunk up, and standing.